new reports of wireless devices exploding in the users' hands in Lebanon today. This after that deadly coordinated attack yesterday. At least 12 people are dead and around 3,000 injured following yesterday's coordinated detonation of hundreds of pagers belonging to members of the militant group Hezbollah. Now, Hezbollah blaming Israel for the attack. And this morning, two U.S. officials confirmed to NBC News that Israel was behind it. Let's get right to NBC's Raf Sanchez joining us from Tel Aviv. Also with us, retired CIA officer and MSNBC security and intelligence analyst Mark Polymeropoulos. Raf, give us the latest on these new reports of more explosions. So, Anna, in just the last couple of minutes, Lebanese state media is reporting what appears to be a second wave of explosions, both in Beirut, the capital of the Lebanon, but also in other areas of the country, including the south near the Israeli border. Lebanese state media is saying that for a second day in a row, it is handheld communication devices that are exploding in people's hands, in their pockets, attached to their belts. It is not totally clear at this point whether this is more pagers that are exploding today or whether this is potentially radios, walkie-talkies. We don't have firm detail. But, of course, this is just a startling new development a little over 24 hours after those thousands of pagers exploded all across Lebanon yesterday, Hezbollah calling it a massive Israeli covert attack. And while the Israeli government is refusing to say one way or another whether it was involved, two American officials tell NBC News that Israel was responsible. Now, the United States says it did not get any advanced warning of this attack, and it is still trying to gather information. But you can see on the left of your screen, that is one of many thousands of the explosions across Lebanon yesterday. Hezbollah members going about their day in the supermarket, walking down the street on the backs of motorcycles, when all of a sudden these pagers exploding. Now, the pagers in question appear to bear the logo of Apollo Gold. That is a Taiwanese technology company. But that company overnight is saying that the pagers in Lebanon were in fact produced by a, com a company in Hungary that had paid a license fee to use its logo. Now, NBC News has contacted that Hungarian company. The woman identifying herself as a CEO says that company does not actually make pagers, that they are merely an intermediary. So what appears to be the case here is that at some point, Israeli operatives got into the supply chain of these pagers and planted small explosives before allowing them to be delivered into the hands of Hezbollah operatives in Lebanon. And viewers may be wondering, Anna, why is it that Hezbollah is using pagers, a technology from the 1980s, from the 1990s? And the answer is Hezbollah thought that it was more secure from Israeli electronic surveillance. They believed it was safer than using smartphones. And it turns out to have been a deadly mistake with that massive chain of explosions ripping across Lebanon yesterday and now what appears to be a second wave today.